Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to trade on Exodus. I have installed this desktop app. I have also the Android app. Also looks pretty good. So for me, I think it's a it's a good way. It's a pretty safe way to store cryptocurrency and to exchange. But there are uh, also a couple of disadvantages. I mean, it's not a native wallet, but I think it's some kind of open source. And with your seeds, if you keep your seeds safe you should be able to recover everything even if exodus the company itself would go down this is uh, as much as i know i cannot guarantee the thing but i'm pretty sure this is what i have learned so i think it's it's a good way it also supports fingerprint it supports uh, additional passwords and everything so i think it's a legit thing what i have heard uh, that some people are complaining about uh, slow exchanges and high fee exchanges and I'm going to show you that so you know what to expect so I was just uh, doing some research and uh, checking some reviews and, and I figured out at the end Exodus would be a good solution for me because it's really somehow independent and reliable and it's some kind of wallet i mean yeah again it's not native wallet but at least it's it's a wallet which supports an exchange which is pretty rare and it supports a lot of different cryptocurrencies so so here in the main screen you have two things you can see uh, what you have like you have nice circle here when you hover on over it you can see the one asset the smaller one and here obviously the larger one and you can go down and you see the details here you can see the detailed price or current price of the of the coins or tokens and here you can see how much you have and the value so gives you a pretty good overview then you can go to the details of the wallet where you can uh, receive and send and when you go down you get a little bit of an overview uh, what has happened uh, if you have received or sent or exchanged you can see that here and here you have the exchange and you can then immediately exchange some assets to any other thing so you can see this is what i have the most and i can select on the right side i mean on the left side you have your asset you can pick whatever you want to trade and here on the right side you can select what you want to trade it for like yeah there are a lot of different coins and tokens yeah, i'm going to show you an example here how to trade bitcoin cash into ethereum if you don't find it here you can search for it but we have it already and the good thing is it has an all and half or minimum or you can set your own amount so let's try with the minimum and one thing which you see uh, is the extreme cost of a trade so when you trade uh, Bitcoin Cash for 3158, you will get Ethereum for only 2739. So it's more than 10% uh, which you will lose. The thing which you have to be aware of that the commission is decreasing as a percentage when you increase the amount. So let's try this with half and you can see the difference here is about eight dollars which is below ten percent with the minimum it's way above ten percent and when i would go with all the difference is then only a little bit more than 12 which is yeah even less than five percent the only important things which i see are missing are limit orders and stable coins so you can see that it is worth to make larger deals and do not uh, make a lot of small deals because these small deals will cost you a lot of money. And when you're happy with this with a suggestion, you can click on exchange. But the thing is, it, it can take a long, long time. I have already a history, I mean, very small history. <laughs> the only thing which I have tested is Bitcoin Cash to Ethereum. Uh, exactly the thing which I've been showing you at the beginning and I have started this 
at 9.22 and it finished unfortunately it doesn't show it was finished about 9.50 so it took half an hour uh, to exchange this but uh, if you would send this to a normal exchange and then trade and then send it back uh, it would uh, take uh, probably about same time and it would be much more risky so this is very very convenient when you have everything in one place and there's no risk to lose the money everything is on a blockchain so no nothing uh, should get lost so for me it works even though uh, the exchange uh, has really really high fee compared to other exchanges of course when we are talking about five percent with other exchanges it's much 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 lower i think it's even below one percent but uh, it's a convenient way if you like this thing yeah why not to do for me at the moment i'm happy with it i have my desktop app and i have also my android app so i'm uh, pretty flexible with everything i want to do when i'm traveling or so not at home i can do everything right away from here it has really really nice interface it's fast it's, uh, it's stable i didn't have any problems at all it's just uh, that it's very slow and very expensive but if you can deal with that for me uh, looks good and I can give actually full recommendation on that I mean I'm not affiliated with them it's just my honest opinion and uh, it would be really interesting to learn from you what's your uh, opinion on that if you think it's a good thing or not and um, yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time